You've seen the schedule. So let's not waste each other's time here because we don't have a lot of time doing the hard stuff that we need to do to get to where we want to go. This is about winning. It's about winning the world championship, period. Happy New Year. It's time for another edition of the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy inside the Globe Life studio here at the Star in Frisco. Bill Jones along with Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy as we turn the calendar to a new year. Great month of December for the Cowboys 4-0, clinching a division title last week, even before they took the field against Washington. And now the Arizona Cardinals uh, come to town, another team that is uh, playoff uh, bound. And uh, January football, uh, you, you like it when games matter like they do right now playing January football. Well, definitely. I mean, this is what you work for. This is what you start back in April exactly for. And, um, you know, it's it's been a good month of December, but this is uh, this is a real challenge here for us. You know, we got a you know Pro Bowl caliber quarterback, uh, you know, a team with, you know, a lot of productivity throughout the year. Uh, impressed what they put on film, both offense, defense, defensively. And, and I think you really have to acknowledge your special team. This will be one of the best special teams units that we'll compete up against. So this is going to be a, a playoff type football game. And I, I think we all recognize uh, where they are, you know, in, in the standings. We know where we are, and, but more importantly, where we want to go. I guess a 24 hour rule was never more in, in effect than last week after winning a division title. You do your little celebration in the locker room, but there's there's bigger fish to fry here, as it were. But I mean, that performance against Washington, all phases of the game, uh, it, it was very impressive. Oh, definitely. I, I'm a huge believer and you got to, you know, you got to smell the roses along the way. I, th I think that's so, so important uh, because you know, so much work, so much hard work goes into it, you know, especially the players. I, I think it's, you know, winning is fun. I mean, and there's nothing like a winning locker room. I mean, those are those are memories that are created that, that last, a, last a lifetime and beyond. So, uh, you know, that's definitely part of it. Uh, but, you know, in the big scheme of things, there's the ultimate handling success. Um, and I think the ability to turn the page uh, quickly, uh, you have to be able to do in this league and you have to do it with discipline uh, to stay on the details. And we definitely need it this week. All right, uh, let's, you touched on it off the uh, top, this uh, Cardinals team uh, and Kyler Murray. Of course, uh, we all know, remember Kyler from his time at Allen High School and uh, a Pro Bowl quarterback in the league. But the, the challenge that he presents to a defense, uh, it is pretty remarkable, isn't it? Uh, very unique. I mean, I, I think when you just start with the type of offense that he's in, you know, it's, uh, you know they have the ability to be up-tempo, to spread you out. They have playmakers throughout. Uh, but he, he, is, he is definitely the straw <laughs> that stirs the drink. I mean, he, he makes it happen uh, both in the pocket, out of the pocket. Uh, his play extension is, is unique because, uh, you know, so quick in his ability to, you know, extend plays. And, and then you can't forget that he has the, the arm strength and talent to, to put the ball wherever he, wherever he wants to. So. Uh, this is going to be a great challenge for us. And uh, defense, uh, discipline on defense and so forth, is it uh, at an all-time high when you play a, a quarterback like him who can stretch oh. the field side, side to side as much yeah, as Yeah, definitely. Field? And, you know, something And this, this is, you know, when you get to playoff football, you know, everybody has a, a top-rated a top -rated quarterback. I mean, I think that's part of the, you know, the need uh, to be successful in January and into February in this league. Uh, so, yeah, definitely. We, I mean, our discipline, particularly in our rush lane discipline, uh, when, they, when, you know, when we are rushing the passer is definitely a, a priority. But, you know, the same breath, you know, we, we need to run and hit. You know, we can't be, you know, playing conservative and things like that. That's not the way we play. So uh, we need to go after him, or, you know, who, regardless who has the football. So this is, uh, I think this is going to be a fun game to watch. Well, you know what was fun to watch last week? It was DeMarcus Lawrence. DeMarcus Lawrence is fun to watch every week. But last week when uh, he picks off that pass and takes off uh, down the sideline, you show, he showed some athleticism I'm not sure everyone had uh, seen before as far as him being an open field runner. I mean, he, moked, he, he made the uh, broken tackle uh, you know, <laughs> video, that's for sure. But yeah, his yards after contact, he, he, was, he was getting in the end zone. I mean, there's no <laughs> doubt about that. But just a great play all the way through. I mean, just the ability to obviously make the play on the ball and then secure it and, and then, you know, but I think just the whole pursuit of the defense too. So, I mean, obviously a huge play in the game. You know, that, the determination that he had to get to that end zone, I, I think it sort of it was a microcosm. It typified the determination this defense has had this season. Oh, definitely. I mean, you look at the way that the tempo, just take that play and, and definitely that's a great illustration of a, what you, you know, how you want to play and, and what you want to be as a defense. But, uh, yeah, I think the, the excitement that the play brought is, is uh, something you can continue to build off of. And, you know, it's just, you know, the competitive spirit that our guys have. It's awesome. All right, we're just getting started on this edition of the Mike McCarthy Show. Up next, it's David Moore of the Dallas Morning News. 
you know, a lot of people's season is ending. Ours is just beginning. Ours is just beginning. So, um, you know, we, you want to hit that stride at the perfect time. And I think, you know, last week was the perfect time for our offense to, you know, ex exhibit what we put on display. So it was pretty, it was pretty cool. The Mike McCarthy Show, presented by Reliant, is brought to you by AT&T, Ford, built for Texas, built for you. The University of North Texas, proud partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. It's Miller time. And by Reliant, an NRG company. This segment is brought to you by the Dallas Morning News. Nobody does sports like Sports Day. You're home for complete Dallas Cowboys coverage. They all wanted to be like, you know, uh, everybody wanted to be the Lions. Like, no, nah, there's only one Lion, but, you know, you could be, I was talking to Donald Woods, you could be the Jaguar, you know what I mean? You could be a Jag, I like Jags, you know, they could jump, they could swim, they actually go kill alligators, drive into the, the lakes and kill them. And, you know, Trey came over and I said, and, you know, he's mentioning things. I was like, I was like nah, Trey, you're an eagle, bro. You're in a league of your own. And he's like, eagle? I was like, yeah, eagles only fly with other eagles. No other bird can reach their altitude. And, you know, so Trey's the eagle and I'm the lion. So he owns the air and I own the ground. And that's all we got to do. That's why we 7-Eleven. The Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy, continues now here inside the Globe Live studio. Bill Jones joined by David Moore of the Dallas Morning News, SportsDayDFW.com. Micah Parsons, Trayvon Diggs, their impact not only on the field but on the locker room. This reminds me of 2016 when a couple of rookies came in here by the name of Dak Prescott and Zeke Elliott and had the same sort of impact on that Cowboys locker room. We see it mm -hmm. even in how uh, Micah has uh, anointed or appointed himself as the lion of that defense. Yeah, I, I agree with you completely. It's, it's very reminiscent. The only difference now is that – Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott are established guys and give you continuity on the offensive side of the ball, which takes longer to develop. And you're having this infusion of, of energy and talent on the defensive side of the ball. And uh, you're right, there's a lot that goes with that. You know, we were talking to Zach Martin this past week, and he was talking about how he was remembering back to 2015 and the energy those guys brought and, and how you're seeing it again here and how that just invigorates a locker room. And who doesn't smile on this team when Micah Parsons goes off and, and he's, he's done this lion from the start. You know, we, we heard a few weeks ago he's extended it now to Demarcus Lawrence and Randy Gregory, and it's a pride of lions. And, and then he started talking with Trayvon Diggs saying, well, you need an animal. And uh, he said, but you can't be a lion. You know, we're, we're, he, but you can be an eagle. You know, you, you, you can control the air. We'll control the ground. And uh, Trayvon Diggs said that uh, he kind of laughed and he went, well, I wasn't sure at the start. I thought he was just like getting on me for like eating worms or something. But but that when he explained what an eagle actually does, I bought in, so I'm all for it. Well, the, the pride of lions, they're chasing the cheetah and Kyler Murray, and Kyler Murray. Uh, this week, which brings me to Dak Prescott. You know, seeing Dak Prescott running with the football last week, it, uh, and now we get towards the end of the season, the money games, so to speak. Uh, are we going to see more of this from Dak? You will. And, and, you know, he he spoke coming off the injury last year about the risk reward ratio of running. And he made it pretty clear he wasn't going to run as much during the season as he had. And he never, I think, ran frivolously. You know, he always did it as a last resort. But you certainly didn't see him run as much over the first 14, 15 weeks of the season. You saw him run more in that Washington game. Asked him this week specifically about that, and he said, yeah, you will see him more run more here in this stretch run and in the postseason because these games are more important. And this is a chance where he's as healthy as he's been. Uh, he feels comfortable doing it. So you will see that come back into his repertoire now. Well, it should be interesting as the Cowboys take on a Cardinals team that has lost three straight games. Of course, Cowboys looking for their fifth straight win. David Moore, we appreciate it. Up next here on the Mike McCarthy Show, we go to the film room room as Will McClay breaks down all the offensive weapons the cheetah Kyler Murray has to work with. This segment was brought to you by the Dallas Morning News. Nobody does sports like Sports Day. Your home for complete Dallas Cowboys coverage. This segment is brought to you by Windstar World Casino and Resort. 
the casino of the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, his ability to take stand plays, um, his ability to run in space. You know, we haven't seen a quarterback as fast as him, and we haven't seen a quarterback with the ability to extend plays like him. So, you know, I feel that's the biggest challenge. But other than that, everything is everything. Welcome back to the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. Bill Jones now joined by Will McClay here in the film room as we break down those offensive weapons that the Cardinals have. And uh, how about we start in the backfield with James Conner, who made the Pro Bowl. Yes. We're going to take a look at running game. When you think of the Cardinals, because of all the weapons, you don't think about the running game. Tenth ranked rushing offense. We're going to take a look at it here. They're going to do a zone read with Colt McCoy. He's, Colt McCoy is going to hold Bosa, which opens up the gap, and then you see a strong run and vision by Connor, and he gives him an explosive play. Connor with 14 touchdowns on the season. Of course, they're missing DeAndre Hopkins outside. They do have the veteran A.J. Green. Though. Yes, they got A.J. Green. Here's a look at how they use him. They got four eligible receivers over here, A.J. on top. This is a third down uh, play. It's third and long, so they're going to bring pressure. Kyler sees one-on-one, -on -one, and here you're going to see A.J. Green, who's made a living in this league for a long time doing this. Beats the DB, and then an accurate, perfect throw with pressure in his face from the quarterback. All right, and uh, that's a veteran guy. How about a rookie out of Purdue, Rondell Moore? What's he added to this offense? Well, add speed, speed, speed. Where they're based off of stretching you vertically and horizontally. You're going to see this play here. They're in 12 personnel, two tight ends. You're going to think run formation. They're going to spread them out. They're going to give you a unique formation here, and they're going to – run some play, some zone read action, freeze the linebackers, and just give him enough space to get him to the perimeter. They got blockers, and then the juice. There's nothing you can do with the juice. Tremendous speed. And, of course, here's another guy, the Texas Aggie, Christian Kirk. Uh, we saw too much of him last year when the Cardinals came here. He had an 80-yard touchdown catch and another touchdown catch. You know what? He is their leading receiver with all the weapons, and you don't know that, but he's a leading receiver. So we'll take a look here. They're going to uh, run a two-man concept route. They're going to put stress on the safety with A.J. Green, but then you're going to see a route by Kirk here. He's going to run this route. He's going to stress the inside. They're going to force the safeties to make a decision, and then he's going to get over the top and then make that concentration catch with that great throw. All right, so we've seen those receivers, and, uh, and Zach Gertz at tight end, a guy that they, uh, they brought over from the Eagles in a trade at midseason. What's he added to him? There's another element to the offense that you can threaten the middle of the field in matchups with linebackers. That's what Ertz gives you. Here they're going to go a two-man route here. They're going to use A.J. for speed to stress the safety, and then you're going to see a corner route here by Ertz. Okay, we're gonna, they're going to pull the element to pull the corner down to create the hole, and then they're going to throw it in there. He's going to make a great catch. And that was Colt McCoy making that catch. They went 2-1 and one with McCoy as their starting quarterback. Murray has been back there, and Murray adds an, an element to an offense that you don't see very often. Yes, yeah, your best laid pan, plan, speed kills it. Here, you got five on five. They're going to run a game on defense. They're trying to keep him in the pocket. What you can't account for is that speed. Here, they got a blocker for everybody. They're going to take the end, bring him inside, make him think, and they're going to say, okay, Kyler, come out here. Well, he jukes the linebacker, and it's third down and 16, and he has a 17-yard run for a first down. It's going to be very interesting to see with Micah Parsons on one side, Kyler Murray on the other. That's the matchup I can't wait to watch on Sunday. Will McClay, we appreciate it, and the coach will return in just a moment as the Mike McCarthy Show continues. It's a very good matchup for us. Um, I mean, you look at their D-line, they're very active. Uh, they play very hard, they're, they're very explosive, and I mean, I think you can say that for the whole defense. So, I mean, I think it's a, it's a good challenge for us. The Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy, continues now here inside the uh, Globe Life studio as we get you set for Cowboys, Cardinals, 325 kickoff at AT&T Stadium. Coach, let's uh, talk about this offense a little bit. What a performance last week uh, against uh, Washington, and you could see it building here, I think, in uh, the last few weeks of the season. But I want to ask you specifically about Dak Prescott. Playing with tempo, uh, that's been the, the talk of the week and is very impressive last week. What advantages does it give? Uh, and Arizona's another team that likes to yeah. play with tempo too. What advantage does it give an offense to play with? Well, I mean, anytime you can stress your opponent with, you know, quicker communication, uh, you know, quicker attack at the line of scrimmage, I mean, it's, it's all part of the game. So, I mean, I, both, side, both teams will utilize it this week. We expect it from them. And obviously, you know, we'll, we'll have some form and fashion. So, I mean, it's part of the game. It's something that we, we put a tremendous amount of time in. It's something from an emphasis standpoint, you know, all the way, you know, 
all the way from your walkthrough practices to your padded practices, all the way through. It's you know pace of operation is so important because you know so much of what we do physically, you know you have to really regulate and control it throughout the season as far as in your training. Uh, but you got to always be you know always be playing at that high rate of speed when it comes to the emotional and the mental you know training. So uh, that's something we put a lot of time into. Uh, with, you know both not just for our offense, but for our offense to help train our defense. So uh, that's a big part of our success. First uh, big boy touchdown drives, first half of that game. 71, 74, 75, 80, and 89 yards mm -hmm. to Amari Cooper to, uh, to end uh, that first half of, of mm -hmm. that game. Uh, Amari is a guy that means so much to this offense, and it's great to see him as involved as he was on Sunday night. Oh, definitely. I mean, I, I think like anything, I mean, we, you know, we made it clear from day one that the system is built around the quarterback, and, and the best way to have a successful system built around a quarterback and spread the ball, you know, to your playmakers. And, and, and you know, Mari exemplifies that. So, I mean, anytime we get the ball in his hands, good things happen. So, I uh, definitely want to continue to do that. You know, we talked about the Arizona offense off the top of the show. This defense is ranked up uh, high in the league as well. How much of a difference maker is Buda Baker, the pro bowler in the oh, yeah. backfield? For impact player. They got a number of impact players. They got good players on all three levels. That's the first thing I always look at. So, uh, Buda does a tremendous job, not only just from – you know, the back end, but, you know, he's, he's an excellent pressure player. So, you know, he's a run and hit player, does a good job, you know, um, obviously tracking the football, you know, takeaways. I mean, he had more last year than this year, but, um, you know, has great tape and, you know, they, they really challenge you with, with a lot of scheme and, um, and try to get their impact players in position, you know, to make plays. Another impact player, of course, is Chandler Jones. They're dealing with a COVID issue with Marcus Golden, who's got 11 sacks, but uh, Jones has uh, nine and a half sacks on the on the season. Protecting Dak is a, is a huge priority, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, so he's a tremendous talent, you know, just his length and energy and his playmaking ability. So, yeah, this is uh, – this game will not be short of uh, a lot of great one-on-ones out there, that's for sure. All right, I talked about big boy touchdown drives. How about a big boy touchdown? Terrence Steele catching the touchdown pass. You know, that was one of four offensive linemen to catch touchdown passes last week uh, in, in, the, in the league. It, so fun to see a guy rewarded like that, right? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, and, and frankly, it takes a few reps. You know, we've been working on that. Uh, on that. He's got play. great feet, though. I mean, oh yeah. It's open. You yeah. Know, it's, we didn't, uh, not, wasn't sure about the hands yet. Oh no, I was. I was. I wasn't worried about the hands. I just, you know, you know, we kind of stumbled out of it. That's why I think we we're, <laughs> we're all worried because even Dak said he put a little more air on it than than normal. But no, nah, just you know, great execution, excellent call by Kellen, and uh, you know, it's it's always great to see one of your big guys get in the end zone. All right. Do we wrap up the Mike McCarthy show in just a moment? Um, we had to get our confidence back on offense. Obviously, things wasn't clicking the weeks before, so just getting back to you know what we do best, and that's to move the ball, make routine plays, and just build off one another. Final couple of minutes of the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy Cowboys and Cardinals at the stadium Sunday afternoon, and my unsung star of the week. Well, he was shining pretty bright early in the second half of that game. I'm going with special teams. I'm going with Corey Clement. Wow. Uh, of course, your backup running back as well, a veteran guy who knows his role on the team and what an athletic play blocking the punt and, and the Cowboys uh, with the touchdown. On I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen one, you know, like you know, with Corey as far as the spike, just picking a clean. And I think it's just like anything in this game. When you see a play like that materialize, you know, because I think it was the third punt, in the communication between uh, John and Corey on the sideline, and then you know Corey saw something, um, and then you know John gave him the okay to go for it, and, and 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 for him to execute it, and Chauncey gets a layup in the end zone. So that <laughs> that was a big time play, and I just you know I, I just love the confidence that Corey had, and you know obviously the you know his ability to execute that, uh, you know spike the you know it was like a spike block punt, you know. So I mean just the fact that you can see the confidence and in the way he went after it. So huge play by Corey. Yep. And uh, as far as punters in this game, we've talked about Brian Anger, of course, a Pro Bowl punter. On the other yeah. side, Andy Lee's averaging about 50 yards a punt. Yeah, Andy's been around forever. I mean, I think Andy's, what, 18, 19 years in the league. So he's been doing a long time. And, you know, I, I think it'll be a great matchup. Hopefully we're, we're not using Brian a whole lot. That'd, that'd be, that'd be <laughs> the go. hope. But, boy, I am just so, so impressed with Brian on a daily basis. I mean, just to, not only does he have the range, you know, in the leg, but his ball placement is extraordinary. So uh, we're very fortunate to have him. All right. Uh, Happy New Year to Happy you. New Year. More wins to come in the month of January, we all hope. And we appreciate all of you joining us here on the Mike McCarthy Show. And we will see you again next week. The Mike McCarthy Show, presented by Reliant, was brought to you by Ford, built for Texas, 
built for you. Bank of America, the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. It's Miller time. Geico, switch today and see all the ways you could save. And by NFL Game Pass. You'll never miss a game again. Enjoy full and condensed game replays from week one to the Super Bowl. 